Yesterday when we started this chapter, we started discussing about growth and development, the difference between growth and development. And in that process, while talking about development, to a very great extent, the idea of human development was made clear. Human development actually means improvement in the overall quality of life of a person or the people living in the society or in the country. The opportunities that uh, people have and freedoms that they enjoy are the important aspects of human development. Human development cannot be measured, cannot be assessed only by increase in income or in the increase of per capita income of for a country because increase in income can bring materialistic development materialistic improvement it will not be proper to say development in materialistic improvement we can have access to bit have access to different type of instruments and gadgets which can make our life easier and better by our increasing incomes. But overall happiness, overall quality of life can only ch change or improve if every member of the family, every section of the society have equal opportunities to excel according to their abilities. Unless every member of the society have the opportunity to do what they are skilled in, have equal opportunities in the society, there is no discrimination in the society, whether on the basis of males or females or on the basis of race or caste or religion. If every member of the society without any discrimination is provided the opportunity to excel according to the ability and have a life which gives them ultimate satisfaction and happiness, then only that we can call development. So it is a completely different thing. Having greater access to materialistic thing has nothing to do with the ideology of development. So human development, in short, we can say that is the improvement in the overall quality of life of the people. This ideology was first of all worked out by two South Asian economists, Mahboob al-Haq of Pakistan and Amartya Sen, the Nobel Lotrate. The concept of human development was basically introduced by Dr. Mahboob al-Haq, who, as I told you, was a Pakistani economist. He was a friend of Amir Tessain and together these two economists presented before the world the idea, this ideology of human development. Mahbub al Haq described human development as development that enlarges human choices and improves their lives. Enlarges human choices that means that a situation in which people have more options of different type of economic opportunities, of different types of things which can make their life easier, better and comfortable and not only could bring economic development but also lead to the promotion of emotions and satisfaction 
a feeling of satisfaction among the people from their life. People are in fact central to all development under this concept of human development. The basic goal of human development is to create conditions where people can have a meaningful life. Only by getting food, clothing and shelter, a person cannot have a meaningful life. A life of a person can be meaningful only if he is satisfied by what type of life he is leading. And he have the opportunities and options of different types of economic activities to make his life better and smoother. Meaningful life is not just a long life. It should be a purposeful life that could give satisfaction to the person for being alive, for being useful for the family, for the society, for the country, for the nation. So human development means that people must be healthy. They be able to develop their talents, particularly in society, and also be free to achieve their goals. Leading a long and healthy life, being able to gain knowledge, and having enough means to be able to live a decent life are the most important aspects of human development. As a result, access to resources, health, that means medical facilities, and access to education are the key areas of human development. These are identified as, su as suitable indicators by which human development could be measured. In many situations, people do not have the capability and freedom to make even basic choices. They may not get education. They may be ridden by poverty. They may be affected by social discrimination. They may be affected, affected by inefficiency of the institutions prevailing that exist in the society. And because of this, they don't have the option of basic choices. If a, ch if a child is not given education, the society is not able to provide education to a child, then the choice for the child for existence, for a living, is very limited. He can only do physical work. But if he get educated, if his skills develop, he will be having a freedom of opportunities by which he can improve his life. So developing people capabilities in the field of health, in the field of education and access to resources is most important in enlarging their choices. If people do not have capabilities in these areas, their choices get limited. And for bringing human development, these capabilities need to be developed. And to what extent it has been developed in a society, that is what needs to be assessed to identify the level of human development in a society or in a country. It was Mehboob ul Haq who created Human Development Index in 1990, which is used by the United Nations Development Program for publishing Human Development Report annually since 1990, which assesses these criteria of access to education, access to medical facilities, and resources as a basis of identifying the Human Development Index. This index 
which is regularly published by the united nations is to make the different countries of the world aware about the level of human development that exists in their country and it is just a reminder to those countries whose human development index is less to do things to take steps which could improve human development in the society in the country